Hello everyone, I am Becca Random, 42, your favorite YouTube harpy. I had a little bit of a news drop when I was live with the guys over on Midnight's Edge tonight, and uh, well, it's not so much news, it's just a little bit of confirmation of what we already knew about the Star Trek Discovery short treks that nobody loves, but uh, gee, they certainly seem to talk about them enough online. But nobody watches them. But, but this is really interesting. And it's interesting who this is coming from. Actually, both people involved in this conversation. So this is funny. This is really, really funny. Heather Ray. You remember Heather Ray? If you don't, she's the one who wished William Shatner was dead instead of Leonard Nimoy. And then had the audacity to cry when she was removed from her podcast due to William Shatner complaining. I made a video on that. Definitely check that out. I'll see if I can't find that to link that in the, in the, in the, the description here. But she just says, I want to send a big hug to all of my Trekkie friends outside of the U S and Canada who can't watch the new short Trek. I understand how isolating and frustrating it feels. I hope Star Trek CBS figures something out. We should all be watching new Star Trek together. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy, but you know, if she wants to, you know, if she wants to torture herself, you go right ahead, girl. After what you said about Shatner, you're on my list. You're on my list, sweetheart. And I saw you at Star Trek Las Vegas and I saw this next person as well. And, um, I want to like him. God, I want to like him. He doesn't make it easy sometimes. I really do. Cause he's got cats. You know, he he's probably getting a lot of shit he shouldn't be. Anthony Rapp, he plays Stamets on the show. He does a great job as Stamets on the show, and I have to point that out. He's been interesting when I've interacted, and I and I you know I left him alone at Star Trek Las Vegas. We passed our cross, our paths crossed a couple of times. He did say some a little little less um I don't know less than uh, equal rights heavy. Less than, um, hmm, liberal statements about a certain ethnic group that he's actually part of, right? And, and notice his, his Twitter handle, Albino Kid. Don't bother him. He's a good guy. Just, uh, just leave him alone. He's probably getting a lot of crap he doesn't deserve that, that should really be directed towards Kurtzman. But he says, just so folks know, this is not on Star Trek CBS and therefore something to think that is wrong with them. This is about the complex international rights agreements between CBS All Access and its international partners. They cover that quite a bit on Midnight's Edge, so definitely check them out. It's up to the partners to want the short treks. He says flat out they don't want them here. They didn't want them. So they're not airing outside of the U.S. They didn't want them. Like we've been saying, like I've been saying, like Midnight's Edge has been saying. We said, yes, this confirms they do not want these short treks because they're not going to make them any money. They're not going to gain any subscribers. They're not going to get any views. They're going to weigh down the servers because they're not good. They're not good Star Trek. They're really, really not. They're slapped together with whoever they have available. The scripts are crapped out in a day. They kill Star Trek. They have killed Star Trek, in my opinion. This is the day Star Trek died, watching this latest short Trek. And, and of course, <laughs> she, she responds, Oh, thank you, because I'm your biggest fan, because I'm Heather Ray and I do nothing wrong. All the legal stuff makes the audiences suffer. It does. It does. Having some different rights here and there. So the short treks are unwanted. Good to know. See, I wasn't the only person who took it that way. Other people did too. Netflix passed on Picard and no one says why. Exactly. Some of us are subscribed to CBS All Access via Amazon Prime and can't see them. So they're probably not sitting there on Amazon's... Uh, so I don't know how that one works either. Oh, okay, it wasn't it wasn't added right away. That's the that's it. So far, Netflix has de denied us the ability to view her from Denmark. I have little hope that they will release the new ones. It's a pity. But CBS All Access can't seem to fathom its behavior like this that forces people to use this. You know, and and yeah, if you really do want them, 
it's bad for you guys if you really do want them. But this is this video is just going to confirm what we've been saying all along and that, yeah, it's it's not. And of course, as an actor, he's only going to have so much information, but he's going to have a lot more closer access than the people at Midnight's Edge and myself and just combing through articles and combing through how things are worded, how people like Alex Kurtzman say things, how the little different articles state who gets to air what. So, so when people complain about us, we show our sources, you know, like public celebrity Twitter feeds. I am MechaRandom42. I will see you guys on the next video or live stream or wherever. Be sure to like, subscribe, share. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.